Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the savior of Thursk Mead Hall, with Mimir freaking many lives, Brother Verilus, Hilland, who does not believe in the power of tears, and Serana, who is once more among us. Wonderful, we kicked some reekling butt here in the previous one, glad they cleaned up all of those corpses that littered the Mead Hall. Uh, we chopped ahead of Buyalt. Nope. The courier Sorry. decided to come join the Nords. Good on him, I say. Good on him. It's a bright future ahead of him. We have an exciting day on Solstheim ahead of us. And I think we're going to start it off by... What? Nahing our way over to Skull Village. We're almost at the finale of the Dragonborn questline now. I know. It's crazy. And it's going to involve... Oh, my... Gosh, there are ingredients here. Do I have tomatoes? I have two tomatoes. Perfect. Two. One, two. One, two. Dude, we can make something good, Verilis. Okay. How are things? You got any quest for me? You, of course you don't. You got nothing. You got, you got pearls, though. There we go. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just borrowing. And not giving back. I came here to study the history of yes, indeed, Tarstan. I do enjoy you have no quest for me. Oh, what's going on over here? I must be calm. Oh? I'm sure there's a good reason Baldor left us. Oh, well, that's something okay. isn't right, Fenari. What's this? I feel it in my bones and I smell it in the air. Baldor wouldn't leave without telling someone. <coughs> Don't worry yourself over nothing, Dior. Do you want a head full of gray hairs before you've seen 40 winters? It makes my heart heavy that you don't believe me, Fenari. Baldor could be in danger, and you will do nothing. If you won't help me, then I'll ask the Allmaker to send someone else who can. Good. This is one of the quests we didn't get the trigger earlier. Hey, dude. Oh, but speaking of Fenari. Have you put those thieving bandits to the sword? The bandits won't be a problem anymore. Your kindness warms my heart. The sunlight warms the skin on a cold day. The skull are once again in your debt, outsider. Wonderful. Did I overhear that someone is missing? Oh, I doubt it. Dior has always been quick to worry. Go and speak to him if you like, but do not be surprised if you end up in a wild fox chase. It would not be the first time. Well, it's worth looking I... into. Hey, Dior. I've tried to I have no mood to talk, outsider. One of the skull has gone missing. Who's missing? It is Baldor Iron Shaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Did anything unusual happen around the time of his disappearance? Hmm. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Where were they headed? Uh, south and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be grateful. Nice. New source of stall, Rim. That's what we like to see. All right, all right. Maybe the skull aren't a hopeless case after all. Also, you, mister. I've seen outsiders in our village before. Indeed. I was hoping we could do I'm something with Nicholas, me. but I suppose that time... Morvan. My mother was Skull, but she left the village and I was oh, born in Skyrim. Excuse me, he had places to go. Why did your mother leave the village? A trade ship from Skyrim struck ice off the coast near the village, and the Skull took in the surviving sailors. My mother fell in love with one of the sailors, my father, and eventually returned with him to Skyrim. Did you ever return here? Sadly, no. She died in Fall Creek, where I was born. What do you need? I came across a few of my mother's old things not long ago. Among them was a necklace that my father gave to her when they were married. I believe she would want it placed upon her tombstone in Falkyrie as a symbol of her undying love and the great sacrifice she made for it. If you find yourself in Falkyrie, please give this amulet to the priest Brunel and tell him that I sent you. He will understand. I don't have much to give in reward. But return to me when the task is done, and I'll do what I can. Thank you, Skull friend. No problem. Her head, she is desperately trying to get a look at me, but it's not easy. Good day. Good day to you, ma'am. 
happy about this. I do enjoy right, it. Star Storm. We'll get around to you. Don't worry about it. There's still some things with Nicholas, but I'll worry about one thing at a time. Well, the time has come, everybody. The Gardener of Men. Hermaeus Mora wants the secret of the skull. Who am I to... Who am I to... You okay there? I think you're bleeding. I think you're bleeding, Storm. So the dragons have returned. Well, the skull had survived worse. I spoke to Hermaeus Mora. He asked for the secrets of the skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Hermamora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Hermamora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. What are the secrets of the Skull? Ah, ancient lore handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave source time to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth. These are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. Why would Hermaeus Mora want your secrets? We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. He said it's the only way he'll teach me the final word of Mirak's shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The Three Stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. You mean you'll give him what he wants? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets. But also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil. Against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Mirak's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. Yes? This is what the did you destiny mean? that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. As does Verilis. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. You got this, Storm. Come on. Come on. Easy, The skull yield up their secrets to me. Uh, 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 
Well, what have you done? I, d I look, I didn't. I think he knew what would happen. He saw his death. Go. Uh, My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Yes. Go then. Kill Mirak. Do not fail. For that, though, I'm gonna, gonna want this book with me. Skull boots. Your father would have wanted me to have these. Well, okay, everybody, get, okay, enough gawking, get the child out of here, nothing to see here, you've never seen a shaman get destroyed by the Daedric Prince of Knowledge before, okay, well then, I believe we could go back into Waking Dreams, this is where we first encountered Mirak, and actually face him now, however, do we have a dragon soul to unlock the, uh, we don't have a soul, so we still don't have a way of bending the final will of the dragon to our side. So that's something. Well, on that note, let's let's go treasure hunting. Let, let's let, let's lift the mood a little. That was a bit of a downer. Bit of a downer indeed. We want to go further northwest. So let's go. Let's let's go looking for treasure. Let's just leave that behind for now and let's talk about death brands. We found a most interesting book that talked of Hucknir Death Shoal, is it? And his great treasure, which is buried somewhere on Solstheim. And I intend to find it. And it all begins at this camp right over here. I'll wait until nightfall. And then we strike. You guys okay with everything that happened there? I couldn't help but notice that you were yawning in the middle of the brutal killing, Verilis. Yes, I just thought that was a little thoughtless. I don't know if that's something RK preaches to sort of a be chill about dying. It's not the end of the world type deal, but honestly, are you on? All right, I see them sleeping over by the campfire. What? Nah! They won't know what hit them. All right. Hockney's show, Misfire Bless Me. We've got a pirate captain too. Oh, oh! Nice! She staggered me with the lightning so I couldn't get my power attack off. They're playing well together. This is where their story... Whoa, boy. We both missed. Okay, we're still even. We're still even. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guys, guys, guys. We're doing this whole let's stand on the other side of the river thing. That's okay. Let's lure them to us. That's not a bad strat. That is not a bad strat. I spawned something over there, but I don't know where that is now, or where they are even. They just went for a swim. Late night swimming lessons? Alright. I like Stormy. I know people are hyping up the Dremora Lord, but like, I like Stormy a lot. Get out of here, pirate mage. Okay, where is the... Oh, pirate captain. He's underwater. He's waiting to strike from the depths. Oh boy. Where is he? I'm just going to try to did I hit something. Oh, no. where is he? Why would he just? All right, let's go over here. Check out Miss Pirate Mage. Some hanging moss. Just gathering some Nern roots. That's cute. Why are you down here? Come back to the... Where's your weapon? All right. Come back to the surface. There we go. I'm going to chase him. I'm coming to get you. I'm going to tickle your feet. Ow, 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 ow. Frostle discovered. Wait, 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 what? Frostle? Oh, the cave. There's a cave right here. I did not even pay attention to anything. I'm like, that's that's strange. That's a weird name. Frostle. Kind of cool. You get so used to that. Oh, this is Red Back Cave. Oh, that's more oblivion-ish. It's like, oh, this is Frozen Shore Cave. Um, 
Death Skull K, but it's like, oh, it's just Frostle. That's it. That's kind of cool. I like that. There we go. Just like that. And there we go. There we go. Keep him staggered. All right, and then just keep a bit of a distance here. And then just... Oh, boy. No. No, come on, you son of a gun. Who do you think is the protagonist here? Who, you don't... You don't kill me. I kill you. Okay, well... Let's do this more sensible then, if he's just gonna... If he's just gonna be like that. Alright, you guys wanna come to the other side with me? I swear. It was five minutes of my day just gone. Misfire bless me. Alright, so while he has the attention, let's just kill him the normal way. This time he's hopefully not gonna just swim off and be a jerk about it. We can just keep him here. Do our thing. Maybe even do something. Maybe I could even bend his will to my call. That would be interesting. But that means I couldn't whirlwind sprint. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine! It's yours, you got him. Alright, that went a little better. I didn't run off. Good, good, good. All oh, as the Mistfire decreed. That is this location cleared. <gasps> Whoa, the demons. <gasps> Death brand treasure map, everybody. Look at this. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So we have the shoal over here. Down by Telmithrin. Then we have over here. This near the water stone. That fits us quite well. And this isn't this like Raven Rockish territory? Perfect. We'll take that. Gold and some Nordic carved. Very nice. Death brand. Yes, treasure map. It's not the most subtle treasure map, but at least there's no map markers as far as I'm aware, which is cool. I enjoy a bit of that. We are in Morrowind after all. Just training some lock picking is all. We have an East Empire pendant. Oh, and some flawless gems right there. 96 lock picking though. What about it? What about it? Stall rim light boots. Yes, yes. Like in that, like in that. Pirate amethyst. Iron, silver ingot. An ancient chest. Oh, they were just done digging this up. Poor sods. But the treasure is mine. Death. Brand Helm, water breathing, plus 100 armor while wearing a complete set of death brand armor. This is light armor too. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, I I like that. That was a good start. Plenty more where those came from. And I think. Yeah. Let's head over looking at the map. I do want to go to the water stone. Either way, let's start off by heading over towards the Waterstone. Because I never checked out its power. So that's something I'm still curious about. Maybe it's healing related? For some reason, I always associate like the element of water with healing. So you have earth protection, fire, damage, air, evasion, uh, and water, healing. Okay. We're gonna get up this land right here. We've been down this road before. Uh, this what? is... I suppose we could stop by and see old Chicken Dragon. Would he take the soul again, though? No. How would I best get a soul? Would that be back in Skyrim? Or would I... He didn't interfere to take the soul from the Serpentine Dragon the last time around. Okay. Alright. Everybody, it's the parkour test. It's the parkour test. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you're made of. Here we go. I've actually been working on a... I have summer vacation right now, and of course vacation for me just means working on lots of projects and not seeing anybody and just controlling my day the way I want to do it, and it's beautiful and wonderful. I've actually been working on something fun. I, without giving away too much, I've been working on a Oblivion mod. It's actually my first time modding Oblivion because I've had this idea for a series I want to do, but 
it would be greatly improved if I made a mod to sort of accommodate the series itself and help sort of augment it and help the viewers have a bit of an overview, let's say, of the whole thing. So, yeah, that's been a really interesting process, sort of. Misfire bless me. It's helped that, you know, I do game programming, so it's, it's, it's a familiar thing, but it's a different syntax and you have to work within the constraints of the creation kit. And just the way you can script things and make things happen, like you have to tie it to an item or a quest. And there's all, all of these like small finicky things that really makes you realize, oh, this is why this bug's out in Oblivion. That's cool. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to, I suppose, announce that so that I can put some pressure on myself to actually finish it. It involves spreadsheets as well. And uh, it's going to be the biggest and most ambitious and I think best spreadsheet that I've ever made. It's gonna be it's gonna be a thing so it's gonna be a spreadsheet integrated with the game with custom items and a custom quest that's gonna help us do the task that needs to be done hello reekling warrior spears my favorite nice very good and an east empire company strong box i need these i'm i'm a bit of a collector you see so that that's actually that actually been that's been really fun you know with marina we did a lot of what you can do in oblivion right it was like oh but how can you return and do more ah there's a way and i have some ideas a bit of a different series format from what i'm really used to doing but i've been inspired by some other series i've been watching so skull hat that's fashion that's fashion so that's something to look forward to if i ever get around to, to finishing that but i'd like to i think it could be fun I think it could be a lot of fun. So yeah. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. A little tease. Ah! Just like... Oh, albino spider. Hey, what's up? Please die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay. It just... Whatever it was, it's gone now. White Ridge Sanctum requires tea. Oh, gross! Die! All right. Good, 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 good. Damage albino spider pod, fairly sure. I have a lot of those. Well then, moving on. Check out that whole place later on, methinks. For now, we're going treasure hunting. There's your treasure by these shores. Let's check that map again. The da 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 da. Death, it's an item. Death brand treasure map. Look at this. Look at this thing. So a little north of the river. I think we might be... Are we south of that yet? Oh, no. I think this is the perfect position, right? Is this where the river comes out? This might be bang on line. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say a little prayer right here. Yeah, perfect. The waterfall. This is good. Okay. Got a little island there. I think we're supposed to be a little north of the island, and I don't want to mess with those guys. Okay. So over here, then. Maybe among these rocks. I don't... There we go. This looks promising. Die! Sorry, baby mud crabs. It had to be done. Ancient chests. Let's check it out. And it's the Death Brand Gauntlets. While dual wielding your one handed attacks, dude. To... I was a bit too fast. 10% more damage for each Death Brand item you wear. Cool. Not that I really do that, but cool. Very cool. It's over here. Just a little shell. Cool little outcropping of rocks over here. I didn't have to put them in, but they look cool. Whoever forged this land, the old maker. Let's do the water stone. So I still am curious. It does mean crashing the family family party over here. Uh, excuse me. Coming through. Good guy coming through. Never harmed one of you in my life. Bye bye. Have a good day. See ya. Who are you? Oh, I thought you guys were I thought you guys were dudes. You ain't dudes. You're dead. Whoa, boy. That's actually kind of a scary boar. Scary boar does the charge. 
Whoa, he's a feisty one. Oh, I hear voices in the distance. Let's not get ambushed by Reavers. I think there's Reavers on the other side there. At least there was the last time we were coming up on the Waterstone, you remember? The cute couple. And die. Do you have boar tusks? Boar meat. Maybe I can only get tusks on the chargers. All right. Where? I know I heard someone. Must have been the... Oh, hello. Hope our shipments are still good. How long has it been? Best be shoving off now. Yeah, so is this just where you're going to spend the rest of your lives after being rescued from the stone? Hang out by the shore? Oh, well, they're, she's going somewhere. Well, all right, best of luck to you. What? No reavers. Instead, a power. A mighty power. Healing related or... Waters of life. Sounds like it. Heals everyone close to the caster 330 points. Cool. I like that a lot. Nice. That was the secondary objective. Next up... Not quite by Raven Rock. This is actually a little north of Raven... Or... Hold on. Let me, uh, let's double check the treasure map. There's, there's treasure in these parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually before Raven Rock. It's not south of Raven Rock. It's on the little uh, thingy right here. Not too far from the earth stone. There. Perfect. All right. Good thing. Soul Stime ain't too big. <sighs> Holding off there would have been a terrible mistake. Glad it was on cooldown. Hold. Who's this? Who we got over here? Who you? Ah! Torquild! It's Torquild! Man! Of sun. What's up, dude? Hey, Torquild? Your brother's looking for you. He hears the underslake of blood dust. What? He just what? Torquild? Torquild! Werebear! Go! Not good. Oh, Verilis is gonna get absolutely demolished. Verilis! Verilis! Get up! There's no time to be resting. There's a werebear to kill. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That is so cool. A thousand times cooler than a werewolf a werebear is. Well, couldn't be helped. Couldn't be helped. Letter to wolf from Torquild. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Dear Wolf, I'm writing to you now as I already feel my mind going. I fear that soon I will not be able to write at all. I came to the wilderness to better know the Allmaker, but in the wilds I found a force greater than any we've known. It is seductive, this power I've been granted. I know you would not approve, so I don't dare show my face to you, but know that I realized the greatest potential of my strength before the last. I hope to one day meet you before the Allmaker, brother, Torquilds. <sighs> well, well, well. Quest complete. Almost. And a hell of a story to tell. We're moving on. Oh, let's avoid that whole place. I hope, I hope they're going to go swimming with me. Last time I tried to drag them past this tower, they got stuck. I had to come back for them. It was not good. All right. Water walking boots. I guess I could also use that uh, that helmet now if I wanted to. Yeah, they're coming with me. What? Dude, ah! wolding across the water surface? <laughs> That's badass. That's really cool. Okay, hopefully we're not going to have a big netch thingy going on over here. Mistfire, bless me though. What's going on here? Alright, looks like more pirates are on the trail of these things right here. Gonna do Soulstime boots back on because they are actually beasts. Yeah. Oh boy. Reaver Lord, strong man. Alright. Some some su some some friends. That's some some friends over here. Okay. Oh boy. Let me just get this Reaver lady down. She shouldn't be too hard. And good. That was that was Stormy. Stormy's actually getting low already. Wonderful. 
then it's Mr. Reward right here. Yes, let's go, Stormy. But I am actually, considering people have been wanting him, we might get our uh, Dremora Lord to be our next big summon boy for a while. And good night, whatever. Verilis, hog that spotlight. Thrusting away. As he always does. Amulet of our case. Whoa. What did you do, Verilis? You killed. You killed the faithful. Okay. Well, thanks for digging it up, guys. Appreciate it. I guess the mud crabs were the ones digging up the other chest. Death brand armor. Increase your stamina by 15 for each death brand item you wear. Cool. All right. Gonna need one more now. One more. Did I pop the earth stone? I probably have, so I should go refill that. But the last one would be near Telmithrin. But Raven Rock. I think the only thing I could really do in Raven Rock. Why, why do I have to ask it to move to over? Something like that. Is deliver these Empire Pendants, but there's always going to be more, so there's not much of a point to stop by. I suppose. Maybe a little, maybe a little, maybe a little trip, though. Alright. Let's go back to this Earthstone where it all began. And this power is really dope. Don't mind this at all. Bones of the Earth. Sweet. Sweet stuff right there. All right, let's cruise into town. Hope we're cool in town. I don't think I've committed any crimes against Soul Diamond or people. Okay, everybody, a bit of a jump there. I've come back from after editing, and I realized this next part is just... I don't know, the pacing was kind of off. I was just spending time in Raven Rock. I've forgotten all about my treasure hunt, and I got sidetracked on all manner of things. I'd rather try to have a more focused ending to the episode. So, Let's pick right off where we came into town. What? There's someone coming towards us. What, who could have foreseen such a th Seems you've inherited a situation. Situation? What kind of situation? Drovus Relvi owes me 1,000 septums. At least he did until you set him up with that Telvanni wizard. Now he's untouchable. The way I figure it, it's your fault he can't pay me. So I guess I'm going to have to collect it from you. A new debt. So this is one of the interesting side effects of getting Neloth an assistant. And yes, I'm, I'm sitting down. I, I, I can't stand standing anymore. And if I don't pay you? Nothing for now. But watch your back. I'll be sending collectors to find you. They won't ask so nicely. One way or the other, I'll get my money. How about that money? Tired of running? I knew you were weak. Now pay me. So there are a couple of options here. We could kill him. We could pay. We could pay half. I think we could even go to Drovas and get like part of the money from him since this is really his problem. But I think I want this to drag on for a bit. Please be Patience patient. Patience is for fools. When you're tired of looking over your shoulder, you'll pay me. Because Mogrel's going to start sending some thugs our way and... Yes? What did you need? Thugs or people to kill might be carrying some orders from Mogrel. Things we want to collect. I could sell off some of my necklaces here if the people will just get to work. As long as you keep bringing them, there we go. I'll keep buying them. Another nice bit of if gold. You're looking to buy, then I'm looking could to sell. sell, but no, no, if treasure hunt, treasure price. hunt. That's what the episode is about, Carl, and that's what we're doing. Nah. Okay. Now we are going to be able to stop by Colbjorn Barrow on the way, should we so desire. But do I desire? I think that detracts from the main thing we're doing, which is treasure hunting. We only have one left now, over by Telmithrin. And we got Hunter Gang. Yeah, they're they're out for blood. They're out for blood and net jelly. You can tell. Oh yeah. They're planning a big attack. We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? Let us go, brother. Well met, friend. May we all fight or die well. Yes. What did you uh, want to Let's leave it to them, I think. Oh, nah. 
they'll be fine, they'll manage. Can't babysit him through everything. Rodolph's house, classic location. Love that place, all around. We're not gonna go to Drover's store, we're gonna ignore him and just carry along. Just keep your eyes peeled on that mushroom in the horizon. Now, I believe once we've gathered all of the treasure piece, oh no. Well, actually, Ashbon, I've been wanting to test my metal against these guys, haven't I? I'm just gonna kill one and then be off. I miss for bless me, check this out. Oh boy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing damage. We're doing damage here. So is he, but not nowhere enough to kill me. This weak pile of filthy ash. Perfect. I'd say that is a good kill time. Well, nah. Wonderful. Wonderful. That boosts Mimir's confidence. He needed a win, okay? He really... He needed a win today. So we've seen that it's a bit off the coast of Big Shroom, Big Shroomville. And we found boots, right? Helmet, armor. Uh, boots, helmet. Wait, what are we missing then? Wait, we found gone. What do we have? Armor, gauntlet, helmet. We've not found the boots. The most important. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this lava? Wow, this is dope. Mogul says what? Pay up. We figure we can just take it off your corpse. Really now? All right. Well then, here's the new NPC type, technically, to take care of. This is Thug Mogul style. Perfect. Let's chop some heads, shall we? Wabba! Yeah! Chop some heads, I said, and chop some heads, I will. Alright. Yeah. She can come with us, that's fine. Hey, 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 hey! He's just keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, mister. Orders from Mogul, an item I want to get. Check it out. Wonder what they could say. Find Mimir. Find Mimir many lives and get my money. I don't care how you do it or what you do with them. Just get my gold. M. The mysterious M. Alrighty. Very cool. That's that's that done. I guess we could we could just kill Mogul or we could just pay. Maybe it's easier to pay. We could intimidate into paying half. Dude, three ash spawn versus one burn spriggan. They're going for it. Let's just not engage and oh, they're so bloodthirsty. So bloodthirsty. I've raised them well. <laughs> I've raised them well. Let's keep our eyes open though. From our treasure chest. So at the first location we had mud crabs digging up the chests. At the second location we had reavers digging up the chests. But all the way out here. This Oh, whoa, 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 ash spawn up there. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. So we're not too far from the Shardak. Oh! Do we have a uh, Mr. Ash spawn over here? Oh, we got a bit of a tomb situation going on. Ash spawn immolator. Now that's gonna be a little tough. But it's nothing we can't handle if we get ourselves some vegetable soup. Mr. Fire, bless me. All right. There we go. I somehow hit the emulator there and not storm me. Don't ask me how it was done. Hold on. My nose is itchy. You can't attack me when my nose is itchy. That's not fair. It's written in the laws. The code of conduct. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. Dude, I can beat an ash one while one of my fingers is gently nudged inside my nose. Okay? That goes to say... That says something. That says something. Nice. Skeleton. Whoa. Search skeleton. Activate sarcophagus, more like. Yeah, I just, I went straight inside. That's a, is this a normal skull? Or is it a different kind of skull? This looks like it has a bit of a different tan. I'm just gonna take it. Let, can I open the sarcophagus or can I just search the... There we go. Oh, hey, dudes. There we go. I wanted to see his face. Oh, rune books. Staff of Calm. Ildari's Sarcophagus. Staff of Calm. What am I what am I finding? I am I'm on I'm on some other 
I have on some other stuff right now. Death Brand treasure map. Mmm, little island thingy. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> I looked at the wrong side of the map. Okay, uh, on the right side of the... Wait, here? Wait, did I go past? Maybe I went past. That's okay. What? We found something cool. Ah! We found something cool. Eldari sarcophagus, staff of calm. Well, that's something. That is something. Okay, we're going back. We're going back to where they where they were fighting, I guess. Yeah, it was right here. But me, being the pacifist I am, just didn't want to get into trouble. We went right past. That's embarrassing. Alrighty, Ash spawns. It's time to show you how it's done. Whoop, 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 whoop. That is a lot of them, but oh boy, nothing my nose can't fix. All right. Get back with my boys. Summon something big to hit him in the face. And... Kadunk! Just... Like... This... Here! Oh, you hurt me. You hurt me, sir, but so do I. Hurt myself. And you! Ooh. Very good. Get a little hit. Run off. Make him chase you. Whoop! Da! Gada! And good night. Done and done. Done and done. Wonderful. Got a Reaver Boy with us. Treasure Hunter! Oh no, that's the Serrano's Treasure Hunter. Search for this! I should have said hunt for this, not search for That's fine. So pretty cool. Alright. There we go. Ancient chest. Expert. We are getting close to 100 luck picking. That's okay. I can live with that. Death brand boots. Oh, carry capacity. And Gildan Hall Barrow key. Gildan Hall Barrow. Boom, 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 boom. So that should be a big stamina boost. Big carrying capacity boost, dual wielding boost, and plus 100 to armor while wearing every piece. That's... That's that's dope. That's really cool. And my carrying capacity does get a nice little boost there. And a stamina boost. That's cool. So that's like 206 armor compared to this. 194, so yeah... It's not real. It's, it's cool. It's definitely cool, but I like what we got going on. All right. Death Brand, where's this barrow? You're telling me it's back up there? Well, I'm not surprised. Well, well, well. I don't know if there's too much for us to do in Telmithrin. I know that Neloth wants us to go and find more black books, but I think that might be after we finish the whole Dragonborns thing. So I think I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna leave Telmithrim for now. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with Mogrel eventually. We can go, yeah, Falkreath. That is a thing. I think other than that... I'd really like to go and get myself this treasure thingy. Alright. Guildenhall Barrow. We already have the Sunstone power here. So we don't need to go and recollect it. I think I'm just gonna make my way there. With a... Oh, ah! Okay, we've uh, come ashore on a mysterious little island. Not too far from uh, Buyald's retreat, though Buyald has of course retreated from life itself, so we won't be seeing her around anymore. Journal! Oh. If you're reading this, run. Get back in your boat and row as far and fast away as you can. There is no safe harbor here. There is no treasure worth the horror that awaits you. It's a miracle you aren't dead already. Halden sent us from Jaffet's Folly out into the sea, looking for hidden islands and forgotten coves. He said we needed outposts all around Tamriel to hide all the treasure we're soon to pillage. I say he's mad. A fresh group like us has more immediate concerns than outposts. We don't even have a name yet. But I kept my mouth shut, my head down, and did what I was told. 
I wish to the nine that I have said something. This island looked so peaceful, so remote. Seemed like a good place for an outpost. Bjord and I stayed behind while the others scouted about. It wasn't long before we heard the screams. We peered over the rocks and I can't even describe what we saw, although I'll never forget it. The blood. Gods, the blood. What those monsters did brought out the coward in Bjord. All it did to me was raise a fire in my chest. I hated my gut so strong I can almost feel it coursing into the mace in my hands. I told Bjord to run, to tell the others never to come here. I stayed to write out this warning to anyone unlucky enough to land on this rock. Now that I've done that duty, there's only one thing left. I'm going to kill as many of those things as I can. I'm even going to try for the big one. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll kill every one of them. Maybe you found this rock abandoned and safe. I doubt it. Ominous. Ominous. Blood and skulls. Blood and skulls. Oh, no. Horker Island? The horror. The horror. Oh, dude. Killing Horkers has never been that easy. There's more of them. Yep. Yeah. Yes. No escape. No mercy. Jabba. I was just about to do the Jabba Jaw in the night. That's a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a bigger Horker? Lord Tusk himself? Oh. Long have I wanted to face Lord Tusk in battle. The great. The legend himself. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. But even legends fall before my might. Four skulls in him. Man, he's been he's been feasting. Yeah. Reaver boys. Hey. Quarker uh, Island cleared. I suppose that's this little this little spot right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somehow, I don't think it was the Horkers he was talking about. What's the hurry? But it could be. Master? You got it. You see, you just, listen, you just gotta feel it. Become one. Become one with the lock. Whisper sweet nothings into the hole. And tell it it's gonna be okay if it just opens up to me. Just... Just like that. Nice. Got bone mold shield. Not really worth the effort, but thank what? you. Nah! There's something here. Ship. Anything special on this ship? Or just a wrecked ship? Looks pretty wrecked. There's another... Part of the ship right here. Anything spicy? Nordic barnacle? That's cool. <laughs> Nothing extremely spicy, it seems. But worth checking out. This... This is a tragic island. So much death. So much death. And now... Whoa, boy. Dude, Lord Tusk! What a guy. Elixir of the Defender. It's just a little confusing since he was talking about oh, the ghosts. And then you come and then it is a bloodbath, but it's just worker based. You're like, wait, what was, what was he on about? Gildenhull Barrow. Or Gildenhull, if you will. Hello. We cool? Alright, yeah, what, what are we doing? Is this a new type of shuffle? That I'm just not familiar with? Alright. Time to die. Good night. Oh, good luck. Good luck cutting Stormy open. I'd, I'd like to see you try. My good sir. These marauders are also onto the treasure. But I have the key. Gah. Silver garnet, some gold. There we go, garnet. There we go. Shovel. That's fitting. That is fitting for what's about to go down. Well, well, well. Arrival at the barrow itself. Where are my friends? No there they are. Even older than I am. 
I wonder if the Draugr are as gullible as they were when I was a girl. Mmm. That is good, but we really don't have more time to delve into this for today. But next week, we're stepping in there. We're discovering the secrets of Hawknear Deathbrand. Well, it's been fun treasure hunting and seeing the Skull give up their secrets to Hermaeus Mora. Getting very close now to a final confrontation with Mirak, and we're about to go find a big treasure of Deathbrand himself in the next one. So, yer, you better be there for it, matey. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most important, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.